dear students i am akhtar jaman and the english teacher of satyendra high school chiramankati high school at this moment i want to conduct my english class for the students of class 9 and 10 so my dear students first i want to give my first i want to give my identity identity and uh, please dear students notice on the slide teacher akhtarul zaman assistant teacher english satendra surwankate high school sadur jashur and this class would be conducted for the students of class 9 subject english first part topic journal abidin unit 7 lesson 1 so my dear students you must have to notice something on the board on the topics are on the board dear students can you dear students what can you see in the skin do you know what is he my dear students you must have to notice or you certainly notice two pictures or two images on the skin dear students you must have to imagine who are the real authority of this pictures of this image dear students you must have to imagine or a uh, guess and try to uh, recognize try to understand uh, actually uh, what are these two personalities are in the skin dear students do you know who is who he is dear students what can you see in the skin dear students you certainly know that answers of the questions i can see in the skin a man or a person number two questions are said yes he is jaino labidin the great artist of bangladesh not only bangladesh all over the world so today's lesson would be lesson declaration so today's lesson is jaino labidin the great artist of bangladesh dear students you must have to be attentive to my lecture because it is important for the students of class 9 and 10 for the fast uh, paper dear students i want to observe i want to in i i want to inspire the students to see or to uh, look at the skin on the skin having some vocabularies dear students please go through the topics after going through the topics students who would face some vocabularies sasas i have written down some vocabularies on the skin and you must have to uh, uh, read or go through the uh, vocabulary number one vocabulary pioneers acclaim skates skatises document feminine sinister skeletal destined destined star vision flight depict compassion charcoal iconic neck consider visionary exhibition scroll popper scroll poverty Port, sorry portrait face abundance intensify heighten non cooperation movement arism manpura communi commemorate commemorate predominant scenic these are the vocabularies uh, have been written down by me on the screen next you must have to notice base words and uh, meaning or vocabularies of the vocabulary meaning, meaning or synonym of the vocabularies i have written down on the previous page 
dear students uh, you must have to be attentive what is the actual meaning or synonym of the vocabulary spawner as it is a noun uh, when we will consider it uh, its prepositional form uh, when we will consider it as parts of its form uh, pioneer the first man in a specific order uh, acclaim this is verb to uh, congratulate anyone congratulate anyone Esketesis, verb, design, meaning of the esketesis, design, document, this is noun, its parts of its form, its meaning is to write down something or to write down anything or its meaning is proof, feminine, its parts of its words is noun, uh, wants of good, the feminine means is wants of good. Sinister. This is adjective, and its a synonym or meaning is not welcoming. Or its another meaning would be spotted. Skeletal. Its a parts of its species uh, adjective. Its meaning or synonym is very thin. D is distance. It is adjective. Its meaning or synonym is uh, be settled of head. Be settled of head. Next uh, comes uh, starvation. Its parts of species is noun. The meaning of starvation or the synonym of starvation is living without food. Next uh, what comes that is plight. Its uh, parts of species is noun and its uh, synonym or meaning is suffering. Next what comes uh, it is uh, depict. It is verb and its uh, synonym is draw. Next comes uh, compassion. Its a uh, parts of species noun and its meaning is mercy or favor. Dear students, you must have to notice. So, meaning or synonym of the vocabulary is I have uh, uttered sometimes ago. Next, you must have to rest part of the previous uh, slides. Charcoal. It is a noun as its parts of species form and its meaning is uh, wood coil. And next comes uh, iconic. It is adjective and its meaning or synonym is uh, symbolic. Next comes a uh, nap. Its meaning is a uh, noun and its a uh, its a uh, parts of species is noun and its meaning is or meaning or synonym is uh, skill or expertness. Next comes consider. It is a verb and its a uh, meaning or synonym is think or seem. Next comes visionary, it is adjective and its meaning is imaginative. And finally comes exhibition, it's, uh, it is a noun and its a meaning or synonym is dear. Dear students, I have written down a lot of vocabularies and dear students, you must have to understand or realize the topics properly or uh, exactly, you must have to give importance for knowing or understanding these vocabularies. So dear students, let us go to the next topics or next slide what has been written down there. Dear students, uh, I want to, dear students, please notice the next slide, in the next slide has been written down, rest part of the previous slide. Heighten. Heighten, it is verb and its meaning is to make high or develop. Non-cooperation movement, its meaning uh, is uh, not a uh, impatentive gathering and it is noun. Uh, regime, it is it parts of a species noun and its mean, uh, meaning is a rule. Uh, next comes a uh, monpura, it is noun, its meaning is a a painting by General Abidel to commemorate hundreds and thousands of people who died in 1970 by cyclone. Mangura, it is a great uh, uh, art of General Abidel and it was drawn by uh, him and it uh, was a great iconic image, it was a great symbolic image. 
and which uh, was collected a lot of attraction of the uh, peoples or personalities of the world and it was uh, drawn in 1917 when a lot of people uh, were uh, died by cyclone. Next term say commemorate. This is verb and its meaning is to remember with respect. Next term uh, predominant. Its meaning is adjective. Its meaning is dominant and its it is parts its parts of its species adjective. Next term scenic. It is adjective and its uh, meaning are synonyms is natural. Next term spotlight. It is noun. It mean uh, meaning is center point. So dear students. You must have to uh, learn or know this sorts of vocabularies of uh, meaning of this uh, uh, topics. Dear students, you must have to uh, notice some important thing that is the short questions uh, from para past single word. So, dear students, I have written down. I have written down. When did Zainal Abidin develop uh, his skills? Develop his skills of drawing and painting. Number one question. When did Zainal Abidin develop his skills of uh, drawing and painting? Number two question. What position did Zainal accept in his uh, graduation? What position did Zainal accept in his graduation? Number three. What did he gain while he was still a student of government art school of Kolkata. What did he gain when he was still a student of government art school of Kolkata? There are three questions I have written down from past para. Dear students, you must have to uh, give its answers and you must have to try to give its answers. Dear students, you must have to follow the next state of next slide and in this slide has been written down the answers of the first para. Dear students, first question's answer would be journal within developed his skill of drawing and painting when he was a student. Next question's answer that is number two person's answer would be journal achieved the first position in the first class in his graduation. Number three person's answer would be while he was still a student of government art school of Kolkata, he was appointed a teacher there. So, dear students, you will notice the next slide certainly. Next slide certainly. Dear students, a single word, a short questions from second para short portion from second class it is uh, for the single word now what is number one question uh, number one person what is journal i will consider number one person i am to repeat what is journal i will consider number two question why does he refer to as silver surgery and what is its meaning number two questions why does he refer to as silver surgery and what is its meaning number three what is number one Number three, what is Navanno? Number four, what is Manpura? I am to repeat number four question, what is Manpura? I am to give its uh, exact uh, solution. Dear students, answer of the second para. Answer of the second para. Yes. Number one questions. Number one questions answer would be, Jamil Abidin is considered the founding father of Bangladesh. Journal Abidin is considered the founding father of Bangladesh. Number two questions answers from second para. For his artistic and visionary qualities, he is referred to as Shilpa Sarjo. Its meaning is the great teacher of art in Bangladesh. Number three questions answers. Navanno is a harvest exhibition in 1969. Navanno is a harvest exhibition in 1979. In the exhibition, he portrayed a 65 foot long scroll highlighting the abundance of poverty in the rural East Pakistan. It also symbolizes the protest of cultural and political freedom against West Pakistan. Number three questions answer I have 
uh, attack i have uh, said sometimes uh, ago number 4 questions answers manpura is a painting of 30 feet foot 30 foot long scroll which commemorates the death of hundreds of thousands of people in cyclone in 1970 number 4 questions answer i want to repeat that manpura is a painting of 30 foot long scroll which commemorates the death of hundreds and thousands of people in cyclone in 1971. Their students have uh, given its uh, uh, exact uh, answers of this question. Dear students, you must have to notice an important thing that is, that is, what can you see in the topic? Short person, third para. Short person from third para. Dear students, you must have to notice one important thing. Number one, short person from Tharkara. What is Shilpa Sarjo? What is, sorry, what is Shangra Shala? Dear students, you certainly notice a picture, a building on the slide, and in the slide, this uh, picture is considered the great house. Uh, constructed by General Abidin, uh, its name is Shangrashala. And what is its meaning? Shangrashala is a house where General Abidin, all of its activities, all of its artistic uh, activities uh, were kept, kept in the house. So I have written down its answer. It is an own art gallery of General Abidin. It is an old own art gallery of General Abidin. Dear students, you must have to notice some scene uh, in the skin. Short person from third para. The, what does the river Brahmaputra play in his life? Dear students, you are observing some pictures, some pictures in the on the skin. There are two pictures in the on the skin. Number one picture you are observing a, a river, you are observing a river and this river uh, has been following, following in the uh, mountain or hill and another picture is also a river and it is a river Brahmaputra. The, the two pictures uh, name is Brahmaputra and these rivers uh, uh, are so much important and so much uh, beautiful in the eye of a journal abidin. So, dear students, what does the river Brahmaputra place in his life? Dear students, Brahmaputra river is such type of river which river played a great or vital role in the life of journal abidin because all of his activities are uh, drawn or painting by the inspiration from the rivers of Brahmaputra. So, dear students, dear students, you can also notice another uh, slide and in the on the slide having two seen or two rivers and these two rivers is also are the name of river Brahmaputra. And it is a real exciting river. It is a real exciting picture, a scenic picture. And in the uh, first picture, in the first picture, a river has been flown, uh, flown between two mountain and in the second picture, on the, in the river uh, having a great ship and uh, before the and, um, side of the uh, river having a lot of mountain. So, dear students, uh, it is an extraordinary picture and which pictures are which seen and which thing played a very uh, great role in the life of journal abidin the river brahmaputra dear students the river brahmaputra what i have written uh, what i have shown the river brahmaputra i have shown some uh, shown uh, at this moment dear students you surely uh, noted the river brahmaputra plays a very vital role in his painting and it's the great source of inspiration, source of uh, 
source of artistic inspiration. Dear students, if the two rivers, the rivers Brahmaputra is a great uh, thing for the life of Janula Bhim, and the river Brahmaputra plays a very vital role in his painting, and it is a great source of his artistic inspiration. Dear students, he also observing a picture, and this picture uh, is uh, uh, Brahmaputra, river Brahmaputra, and in the picture you are also observing a lot of uh, sailboat, and these boats are moving forward or backward, and and uh, over the river having a sky, having a blue sky. And great natural scenic beauty has been depicted uh, by the nature, and these uh, natural uh, natural beauties charm uh, charm the journal within surely, and we can observe these natural scenic beauties in his artistic uh, artistic activities. So. The river Brahmaputra plays a vital role and great source of inspiration, artistic inspiration. So, dear students, uh, you are uh, observing some uh, lines on the in the on the screen, and number one, combine word, write short notes on the following topics. A series of watercolor. Number one. Number two. 1938. Number uh, three. 19. Uh, 14 and 1976. Dear students, you must have to think, you must have to guess uh, about this, uh, about this uh, line or about this uh, marking point. Number one, a series of watercolor. A series of watercolor means journal of within in his total life or in uh, his uh, uh, life of uh, painting and drawing. He uh, depicted a lot of pictures, a lot of scenes, and we and uh, for uh, uh, drawing or painting these pictures or scenes, he commonly generally used a uh, watercolor. A uh, watercolor, watercolor comes from River Bhumaputra. So, how much uh, grateful, how much effective uh, River Bhumaputra given a uh, gave in his life? So, it is not uh, uh, possible to consider. So number two, 1938. 19, 1938. What is uh, thing? 19, 1938. You must have to consider. And 1914 and 1976. 1914 uh, is a, uh, his uh, birth date, and 1976 is his death date. Dear students, dear students, you must have to notice another uh, scene uh, on the skin. Number two scene, and uh, I have written down, I have given to you uh, some uh, task. Write some sentence about the phases of institution of uh, constitution of Bangladesh. It is, dear students, you must have know that. I don't know, you have uh, not understand about this topic. This is first uh, picture is constitution of Bangladesh, and this constitution so designer uh, is. General Abidin and our great uh, constitutions of Bangladesh uh, designer General Abidin and General uh, Abidin and uh, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was the personalities who gave uh, order, who gave a uh, request to draw or to paint or to write down the uh, design of the constitution of Bangladesh and by the uh, request or by the order of Bangamundi Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, Jarnal Abidin designed the constitution of Bangladesh. So, at this moment, I am to uh, go back to my uh, lesson because time is over. And, dear students, how much you have benefited by my lesson, I don't know, but thank you for all for giving participation in my lectures and in my next class i will conduct another topics to you 
and be stay at your home and you must have to follow the health hygienic hygienic uh, hygienic rules and you must have to be uh, attentive that although your exam is not helping but you must your exam is not helping it means it is not that you are also stopping your studies at home you must have to uh, remember that studying at home is so much important and you must have to be attentive to your studies thank you very much